Hello everybody, it's John here. It's February the 1st of 2023 and it's cold again. But don't worry, by the end of the week it's supposed to be 50. That's how it's been all winter it seems like here. Uh, this past winter I've not built a beehive, first time in five years. But I did come up with a project and I'm going to share it with you here and see what your thoughts are. It's called a Russian Zion and I seen it on the YouTube. There's not very many videos that I could find on it or really t a whole lot to, that they talk about them. But the way I get it, uh, it's basically a rest stop for the bees. Uh, it's not a swarm trap, but if you have an apiary with several hives in it, uh, it's a way to maybe catch them before they fly off and find their new home. In my own experience in my bee yards, uh, about 80% of the time, it seems like the swarm will come out and it'll land within 20 feet of the hives. And a normally, too, in that 80%, it's about six feet or lower is where the swarms are. This past year, I had four swarms in this little apiary that I saw. Uh, two of them were over here on a bush about three feet off the ground. One was over here on my B sign about two feet off the ground, and the last one was back behind here in a, in a small dead tree about six feet off the ground. So the whole idea is with this Russian Zion, it's a place then that you can maybe attract the bees to and uh, find an easier way to see them uh, when they do start to swarm, and also maybe an easier way to collect them. So let me show you here what I got. This is what I've come up with. Uh, they can be made so many different ways, so you just have to use your own imagination. But my thinking was here, uh, if I could hang this in the bee yard, if they would get attracted to it, it would be an easy way for me then to come over and lift the swarm of bees off. Then I could bring it to one of my hives. If I have an empty hive in my apiary, I can open it up. And I built it so that I could lay it down inside the hive and the bees then could of course come off of it and hopefully go to the comb I have in there or if worst case scenario I might be able to shake them off. But that's how I built mine just deep enough that I could still set it in all my hives and collect the bees. The other option here that I have is I made a bucket uh, and the bucket of course I put a few little vent holes in them uh, with some eighth inch screen in case the bees needed a little bit of air. But I made it so that then you could also collect it and uh, lower it into your five gallon bucket and uh, then take it to another beekeeper or, or move it to another location if you have to. What I did do was cut off all the extra locking mechanisms that come on the lid and made it very shallow on each side so that whenever it comes to opening it and closing it, uh, you don't shake the bees off of it. But this is a nice little carry case then to take and uh, You've got a swarm of bees to carry around. I currently, I currently have it hanging over here on a post, uh, but I think it, as I'm thinking about it, I may try to end up uh, putting a post in the ground in the middle of my four hives in this apiary and maybe trying to get it about six feet up off the ground in the center of them and hopefully that'll be a way to uh, attract the bees to it and uh, see what they'll do. Again, if you find a few videos online, you'll see different ways of making it. Uh, one thing I haven't done yet is uh, people have showed taking a, a window screen and wrapping it around here or some burlap and then putting, uh, uh, of course, melted wax from an old beehive on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not, or just maybe paint the boards here. These are rough cut lumber, uh, so maybe just putting some wax on the boards. And I'm also thinking about a little scent thing that you can put lemongrass in and maybe give a, a little smell of lemongrass to hang on here too. But my goal then is to put this up, uh, you know, in March and let it hang here. Around here, the swarms, uh, I have caught a swarm in late March, very end of March, but normally it's in the first few weeks of uh, April when the swarms start going. Will this work? I don't know. Uh, I've not seen a whole lot of, again, information about uh, how well it works, 
Uh, and I've also seen people try to hang it up on ropes and make it 10, 20 feet up in the air. Uh, I just wanted to make it simple, uh, just in my little area here where I normally see the swarms uh, land before they take off. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I'm going to give it a try and see if I can maybe catch a swarm again on a Russian Zion. So maybe you folks can give it a try too, see what you think. Thanks again always for watching and God bless. And I can't wait for the season of bees to start.